Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites. And I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video. Mukbang and cooking show. Everybody, let's go. Check out my video. If you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites. Check it, check it, video. Check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. So you never miss out on another Delicious Bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so much for coming on back. Father God, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you, Father God, for how you've blessed us, for how you carry us through the week, for how you've kept us safe, for how you've given us comfort in times when it's really kind of difficult to feel that comfort. Father God, I thank you so much that I can feel that comfort in you. I ask that you would bless this food, my friends, my family, and my subscribers. And I ask that you would make this meal nourishing to my body. In Jesus' name, I thank and praise you for every single thing, every single day. Amen. So, you guys, I am back with another mukbang. And today, I have some shrimp nachos. Let me let you get a look. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. I know it. It's going to be good. And I'm just drinking some water. All right. So let's get it, get it. How are you guys doing today? Squeeze that lime on there. Like that. And I loaded these up with everything I could think to get in them. I really did. Got a fork just in case I need it. There we go. All right, sorry about my arms all over the place, y'all. Here we go. I have some um, regular nacho chips. I have some Doritos down under here. I've got some red onions, some green onions, some tomatoes, um, nacho cheese, like a queso cheese. I've got some shredded cheese, cilantro, jalapeno, olives. I, I don't know. Everything. Get your bite. Here, let me pull it back because it's looking like it's um blurry. You got it? All right, let's go. I'm about to make a mess. You already know what it is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Y'all know that's good, right? Mm, mm, mm. When I am smiling from ear to ear, it is good to me. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. Mm -hmm. I've got some sour cream, but it's Mexican sour cream, so it's called crema, but I think it's just a looser, smoother sour cream that you can like pour. I don't really know what all the difference is between it and regular sour cream, but I like it. I think it has a little bit more of a tangy taste to it than regular sour cream. <clears throat> Here's one of the Doritos, y'all. Mm, mm, This is so good. I can't even say nothing else. Ooh, that's a little kick. A jalapeno. Got a little spice to it. I can't get that on there. Mmm.
I started to put some um, king crab with this as well. I said, mm mm, don't do it. You gotta ration that out because you don't know what you're gonna get anymore. <laughs> I said, don't be greedy. Just put the shrimp on there, that's gonna be enough. Mm. Oh. Might not be able to get to Costco to get another box. So I got to ration that out accordingly. Because I don't know how long this is going to last. This quarantine thing. I don't know. I don't know. And Costco has changed their membership policy where they're only letting... <clears throat> A few people in at a time. Mm. Like they will, um, it used to be you could go in, your kids could go in, you could take somebody else with you, like a guest, like one or two guests or something like that. They change that because they are practicing social distancing like they should be. So they are trying to not have so many people in the warehouse at one time. So you can't bring a whole lot of people in with you anymore. Which isn't a bad thing. Ooh, this is good. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get it stacked up pretty. I wish I had some lettuce, but <laughs> I don't know what's going on over here. My freezer, or yeah, my freezer, my refrigerator was turned up so high that it became a freezer. I don't know what I did, when I did that. And my lettuce froze. Mm, mm, mm. You're going to have to excuse me because you don't put this whole thing in my mouth if I can get it in there. Because if you bite it, it's going to fall apart. So you might as well just jam it in. Sorry. Here we go. Food be good. Let's make a dance. Mm -mm. Bring my cross back. Bring it back. There we go. So, anyway. My work day was good. I, um... Did screening again today. Because you guys, <clears throat> if you remember, I told you our patient census is very low for my unit right now. Because I work a specialty unit. Mm, good old cold water. Where we do cases that are elective, not so much emergent. So, in order to keep people from being in the hospital and being exposed to a potential virus, um, if you don't have to have your procedure right away, we haven't been doing them. So, my unit is really, really um, skeletal. <laughs> There's not a lot going on. There's not a lot of patients. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. These shrimp are sweet and tender. Mm. So we've gone down from doing like 15 cases to like two or three. 
So they've been finding other things for us to do within the hospital. Mm. And scanning is one of them, or screening. Screening people that are coming in. Employees, vendors, um, people coming for procedures, everybody. Nobody gets in without being screened. And we have screening points at every single door. Back doors, maintenance doors, all the doors. So, that's what we've been doing. Keeping ourselves busy. Still in the calm before the storm stage. Thank you so much to everyone who watched my video yesterday. Thank you to everyone watching this video today. Thank you to everyone who left me questions for the Q&A. I really enjoyed answering them. This is waxing with Donisha's fault. This whole situation here, that's her fault. Because her and her husband Cliff had some nachos that had beef and had some fried oysters and something else all up in there. And I'm telling you what, it was looking good. And they tore that platter up. You hear me? When they got done, that platter was empty. And it was piled up high, too. So, it's her fault. Because I watched that video, and then I had to have it. Mm. Mm. You guys have not taken the time to make yourself some shrimp nachos. You need to do that. You got some shrimp in your house somewhere. Make you some nachos. Mmm. And I had an avocado, but it was too ripe. It had gone too ripe on me, and I couldn't use it. It was brown. When I cut it open, it was brown. <clears throat> so I couldn't use it. I couldn't even make guac with it. It was gone. I was disappointed because you know that would have been good. Hmm. Trying to keep track of the time, you guys, so I don't miss reading my blessing card. Because, you know, yesterday when I was doing the crab legs, I must miss putting up my blessing card, reading my blessing card. And I had to read it fast, and I didn't like that. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry I'm looking at my fingers, y'all, but it's just what it is. 
Hmm. It is good, good, good. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more bite. Got it? Try to lean over and give it to you. See, it's blurry. There we go. All right. If this was a Friday night, y'all know this would be sangria or a margarita or something like that. <laughs> but since today is Wednesday, Thursday when you get this video, no, it won't be Thursday. Probably Friday. Um, I gotta go to work in the morning, so. Good old water. Mm-hmm. You guys, they have, <clears throat> excuse me, started asking nurses who have retired to come out of retirement for this thing. It's just like, wow. And my cousin Debbie, who was my age, but retired from nursing. And went into the ministry. Um, because of an illness that she had. They've asked her to come out of retirement, but she can't. Her, her immune system is suppressed because of some medicine she's on. She can't come out of retirement. But she keeps her license up, though. And that's me. That would be me. If I, when I retire, I'm not giving up my license. My nursing license? Mm-mm. I carry that to the grave with me. I work so hard to get it. I'm so proud of it. I love the work I do. Like I said, even now, in the midst of the storm, this is my purpose. I'm supposed to be here. So, I still love the work that I do. And um, even at time of retirement, I'll keep my license current. I think the nurses that are healthy, willing, and able to come out of retirement and they come out are amazing. To have that love for people, to have that dedication, to want to help come and coming out of retirement, knowing what you're coming out into, when you could have just stayed home and be like, mm -mm, nope, not me. They are the heroes. They are amazing. They're absolutely amazing. Because a lot of nurses that have retired, and not all nurses, but a lot of nurses that have retired are well into their 60s and, and, and beyond. And they're at the age where they say, don't get exposed to this thing. Stay away from it. So for them to come out of retirement, knowing what they're coming out and walking into, and to still do it, God bless you, and thank you, truly.
I'm going to read my grace card. And then I may keep eating. Because it's so good. I don't want to stop. Okay, now. All right, so this comes from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Grace comes into the soul as the morning sun into the world, first a dawning, then a light, and at last the sun in his full and excellent brightness. That comes from Thomas Adams. So I hope that good word was good to you. I hope that somehow it brightened your spirits, lifted your spirits, and just touched your heart and your soul. That is the good word for today. And of course, yeah, I'm full. <laughs> that was a big platter, you guys. I ate a little over half. I feel like I ate a little over half. Anyway, you guys rock. I love you. I love you for the Q&A. I love you guys for just giving me something to do. As I said, me making these videos I love doing that, but now at this time, it means so much more to me, and I hope it means a lot to you, um, that I come on here and I talk with you and I answer your questions, but truly, you guys are helping me because it gives me something to do. It takes my mind off of everything, um, even though I talk about it here and there, it allows me to vent, and I appreciate that so much, and I love this platform that it helps me, and I hope it helps you as well. So I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Show me out, show me out, show me out, guys. Tell all your friends and family about these delicious bites. Burp is coming. Excuse me. And maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite with me as well. As always, I believe that you're capable of amazing things. So much more than you know. So, until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, be safe, and be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Subscribe.